Joining us right now is Dr. Montek Singh Aluwalia, former Deputy Chairman of the Planning Commission and currently Distinguished Fellow, Center for Social and Economic Progress. Thank you very much, Dr. Aluwalia. First of all, your impressions of Union Budget 2023. Well, now that the excitement about it has uh, gone down and all the details have been looked at, it's a good time to sit back and look at the big picture. I think as far as the big picture is concerned, Finance Minister touched on the right signal of sending a signal of return to fiscal normalcy. Because quite frankly, there was a justification earlier for a very high fiscal deficit. As we start recovering, I think the world would be looking to whether we are getting back to normal. So I think the decision to pitch the fiscal deficit in the current year uh, about half a percent below uh, what it turned out to be, what, what was the RE uh, for 22-23 was the right decision. And I hope that it will, uh, they will stick to it. More important than the one-year reduction, I think she gave an indication of what she proposes to do in the next two years. Because let's face it, a one-year correction was expected anyway. Because, you know, with the recovery from the pandemic and the withdrawal of some of the major subsidies, especially the free food subsidy, which was brought in specially uh, during the pandemic, uh, there was going to be a significant saving. And that saving has more or less got reflected in the lower fiscal deficit. But our fiscal position is much more strained than that. And it was necessary to give a signal that you're going to reduce the fiscal deficit over the next two years, hopefully below 4.5% or so. That's going to be tough because I think getting it down to 59 in the current year was difficult enough. Getting it down below 45 in the next two years is going to be more difficult. But I think she's given the right signal and we have to see how the budget will turn out. Most people asking the question, is the government of India working towards fiscal responsibility uh, would come to the conclusion that it is. So that part is good. The other thing which I think is good is that within expenditure, there's a focus on capital investment. Now, you know, she had a choice. I mean, many people would have said there are other areas we should push. Uh, but for my, for my preference at this point, uh, giving a thrust to capital investment and in infrastructure is the right thing. Again, the critical thing is, will it get implemented? Because, you know, we have many examples of budgets which set the right direction, but then in implementation, uh, things don't work out the way they should. But that's something to be seen in the course of the year. As far as the budget is concerned, it's saying the right thing. <clears throat> Dr. Aluwalia, you say implementation is equally important than allocation. Uh, what uh, would you say about the track record? Well, I haven't looked. I mean, I, look, I think on the last two, three years, there's no doubt that there's been a significant expansion. But, you know, during a period when the economy is down and there's a push towards a fiscal stimulus, it's a little bit easier uh, to get expansion done. Many of, the, many of the programs that were being proposed were in the nature of welfare programs. It was easy to achieve the objective. You're giving away grain free, that's relatively easy to do. I think in certain areas, particularly in the roads, uh, we've done a good job. I mean, the infrastructure build up in the last three or three, four years has been good. You know, in other areas, we've run into problems. I mean, for example, in railways, uh, the bullet train was a major initiative. I mean, originally even conceptualized in the previous government, formally approved in the current government, but actual implementation has been slower than expected because of the usual land acquisition problems. That's just one example. So I think we need to be careful to see that what we say we're going to do actually gets done. You know, one question that I've been meaning to ask you, Dr. Aluwalia, uh, is the fact that India so far uh, has not been affected as much as other nations are uh, in, in this you know, era of global recession fear. Do you feel that this budget can help escape or at least uh, limit the damage that a global recession can cause? 
Do you think we are headed I in think, the right direction? I think I think it's a bit premature to say how we are faring because let's face it, the global slowdown is expected in the year 23-24. I mean, you've just heard the IMF say that they're now projecting somewhat lower growth in the coming year than the, in the current year. So it's too early to tell, uh, to say that we have escaped. I mean, what we are saying is that we are going to grow at now, I think it's projected at 6.5%, which is a little more than what the IMF has projected. Uh, but we have to wait and see whether we achieve that 6.5%. So I think the how well we recover in the year 23, 24 is not to be taken for granted just now. See, if you, if you look at the current year, 22, 23, there's no doubt that we grew well in the first half of the year. What we're expected to achieve for the year as a whole, given what has been done in the first half, implies that in the second half, we're going to slow down. So I think I've seen various estimates that the expected growth in the second half of the current financial year may be less than 5%. So what the present projections are saying is that although we will enter the next year with a momentum which is below 5%, we will be able to expand that to go to 6.5%. Now that 6.5% expansion is not going to be because we've given a fiscal stimulus. Because compared to the previous year, there will actually be, and that's a correct thing, there will be a bit of a fiscal contraction. Mm. But nevertheless, uh, we are hoping that we will do well. Now, one critical thing here mm -hmm. is whether private investment will recover. Uh, there are reasons to believe that we've gone through a difficult time. Uh, there's some perking up of interest in private investment, but it's too early right now to judge whether private investment is really going to rebound. In that sense, the, the push to the capital expenditure hmm. is a good thing because I think it will, it will create the right sort of stimulus hmm. in the rest of the system. Hmm. I mean, there's a lot of research which says that the uh, multiplier, if you like, of expanded investment in infrastructure is greater than the multiplier of other expenditure. Hmm. So if you take these things into account, I don't rule out that we might grow at 6.5%. But I think it would be premature to judge that we are through just because that's our projection. Yeah. We are actually projecting a growth which is higher than the rest of the world is projecting for us. Now, it isn't the case that exports will make all the difference. Because so far, frankly, uh, our performance on exports has been less than what I would have liked to see. Mm. Service exports have done very well. And that's a great credit to the services industry, the high-tech industry, and so on. But goods exports have been slow. And other countries, Bangladesh, Vietnam, I think they've done better than India has. So again, maybe some of what we are now focusing on, ease of doing business, logistics, etc., will help. But we have to wait and see. It's not a foregone conclusion. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Aluwalia, for your time. Thank you so much for joining us.